Well, hello there, our pets crew. Welcome back to our channel. Since we last saw you, myself and Princess Kid Fluff have been snorkeling. Here we are underwater and we met some amazing sea animals. Dolphins, sharks, whales, turtles and so many more, including fish of every size and colour. So, we are going to show you how to create your own underwater world filled with these wonderful sea creatures. Here's what we did after our last adventure. Today I'm going to show you how to draw and colour a dolphin. And we'll tell you some fun facts about dolphins too. So, to start with, you will need a HB or 2B pencil, a pencil pairer, paper and an eraser. So, let's get started. Art pets, art pets, we are the art pets. Here we have a little simple shape diagram I've done out to show you the basic shapes that we will use for our dolphin. We have one, two, three, four ovals, one, two, three, four triangles, and that will be the basic shapes that we will need for our dolphin. So, to start with, we'll have the large oval. Now, as before, I'm going to start it in pencil and then I'll go over it in marker. So, step one are the basic shapes. So, we start by putting in a very soft, loose idea for a big oval in the middle there. That's number one. Then we have an oval just to the left of that, somewhat smaller. That's number two. And then for the tip here at the mouth, we're going to have another oval. That's number three. Then as the tail goes back and narrow, so we're going to have a smaller oval here at the back. That's number four. And now for the fin. So the dorsal fin at the top, we have a big triangle here for that. Then we have another one for the side fin. And then for the tail fins, we just have a small triangle there and a slightly larger one on this side because it's closer to us. And that will be the basic shape of our dolphin, very softly rounded. Now, step two is to join these shapes and create the outline of our dolphin. So starting with the head, I'm just going to let these two come up and join in at that point there. I'm going to let that slide down to the nose and around. I'm just bring it in here and then down around for the belly down to this fin here. From there, I'm going to ignore this dorsal fin so I'm just going to let this shape continue on and join up into the tail there. So you're going to have a little bit of softness into this space like so. And then from the underside of the belly, I'm going to let that narrow as it joins up and comes down into this section here. So that will be the main body shape of our dolphin. From there, I'm going to then put in the tail fin. So I'm going to let that come in and just give a little bit more round. So I'm going to let it sweep out a little and in, so in and out there at the, on the other side and then on the near side just we let that come out and it's going to look somewhat bigger because it's closer to us and we have that other fin just sitting in like so and I think I'll round that up a little down like so. Then we have the dorsal fin and it falls backwards this way so it joins up there and then comes it's rounded at the top it's not pointed and then it comes in gently and around like so and that'll be the dorsal fin and then we have the side fin we we'll just let that connect there and again we just keep it nice and soft and rounded at the top there and that is step two where we've joined all the shapes and you can see the outline of our dolphin showing through like it. now if we want to add some detail that will be the next thing to do but before i do that i'm just going to take my rubber and rub out the guidelines that i no longer need Now, there's our guidelines gone. Now I'm just going to add in the details of the mouth. So we want a happy smiling dolphin. So coming down around the top of the nose, we're going to let the line of the mouth come back in and turn slightly up. And then we have the lower lips coming out slightly and just giving that a little bit more roundness there. From there, we'll have the eye. We just do a circle for the eye here and then just have a little bit of darkness in the center just to give a little bit of feeling of the life in the eye and then just a little bit of the cornering. Outside of that, we can have a slightly different space for colour on the belly. So we can bring a line here and let this fin come across there and have another line there. And we'll use the lower part of the dolphin in a different colour just to add a little bit more character and playfulness to what we have. And of course, we have the blowhole which we put about there. Here are a few fun facts about dolphins. Dolphins are mammals. They are warm-blooded animals which give birth to babies. And these babies feed with milk from their mother. Dolphins are very friendly and will sometimes swim with humans. 
Now, to add that, that is the basic shape and that is the basic drawing in pencil of our dolphin. I'm not going to do any shading because I'm going to colour it in today, so there's no need to put any shading into that for now with our pencil. So, just to add a little bit more playfulness to the composition, as it's underwater, you're going to be putting a few plants just so we can add a little bit of colour. So, for example, when you have reeds in water, they float, and because they float, they move, so they wiggle. So, we're going to have some reeds on the water reeds just wiggling so like so as the water is moving you get this little bit of a wiggle showing through like so we put some there and maybe we put another one just here wiggling up a little as it moves in the current of the water and then over here we might have some sort of other plant there but you don't need to have exactly the names of the plants they can be whatever you want them to be and you can use your imagination to add little bits of color and maybe over here we have something that's a little bit more rounded almost like a coral just put some of that there and this just allows to add in a little bit of playfulness and a little bit of colour into what we have and maybe another one here. And that'll be part of our underwater scene. Now remember, myself and Princess Kitty are going to show you how to do lots of different sea animals and you can use them at different stages, either on your own to build an underwater scene or you can start putting them all together in different spaces where we'll have lots of different creatures all underneath the water to create this most amazing underwater um, world, if you like, for yourselves as you go along. And you can make lots of them, you don't have to make one, you can make many of the same type of ones. Look at those in there. And that's essentially our outline drawing. Now, to make that a little bit more stand out I'm just going to take my black marker and I'm going to go back over those lines and I'll do it in speed so we're not too long at it okay That is the outlining of our uh, dolphin complete in black and I've also taken out all of the pencil line. And now I'm ready to start colouring. And for my colouring I'm going to use my colouring pencils. So now with our grey I'm just going to fill in all of the body with my soft grey. So using hatching stroke which we've talked about before is just lines side by side. I'm going to put in a soft grey over all of the body of the dolphin. And you don't have to be too neat and tidy, you don't have to be too perfect. Just fill in with that grey all the way through. And I will put it in the white area, except here I'll just use it slightly softer so it's a little bit paler than the colour I'm using on the body work. So I'm just going to fill all of this in all the way through to give myself a light grey. So now from there, the darkest part of the dolphin tends to be around the middle here because light from the top of the water where the sunlight comes through tends to come down this way and sometimes you have light reflecting up from the bottom. So what we're going to do is to give some feeling of the light and the reflection of the water on top along the top of the dolphin, I'm going to put in some soft blue because the surface of the body of the dolphin is wet and when anything's wet, it reflects lots and lots of colour. So you want to just show that and it's reflecting. So down around these outlines if you like putting in some blue just add a little bit of colour and a little bit of playfulness into the dolphin and leaving you said small amounts of the grey showing through. Now what I love about this is you can add in lots and lots of different colours. From there I'm now going to take a little bit of my black and I'm going to introduce a little bit of darkness into the centre of the dolphin here. Just small little strokes just to give you a little bit of that sense of darkness. Underneath the fins just here and here to give a little bit of suggested depth to put a little bit of darkness there and also on this side here. Now I'm going to do the same with a little bit of dark blue, put in my dark blue here. Now we're using the dark blue and all of the other colours to give the impression I said of light and shadow onto the surface. Now some light blue again to act as a sort of blender over the surface of that. And for a little bit of fun, I'm going to add in little traces of red here and there. So it just gives a little bit of playfulness. You know I like to use little bits of colour when I'm doing any of my paintings because um, it adds just a little bit of extra fun into what we're doing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rubber and I'm going to use my rubber to add in little bits of light to, uh, to sort of blend those colours and bring in a feeling of light just across the back of the dolphin and soften some of those colours down just on the underside and on the top. So we bring a light across there. So I'm taking out some of the colour of the pencil just to add a feeling of light coming through into those spaces. Now from here, I'm going to start doing some colour into my background. So I'm going to leave the dolphin as it is for the moment. I may go back in and add more colour, but I want to add some colour from the background first and see. So I'm going to start with my light blue and I'm going to use that from the top of the paper down and just fill in all of this space. Top 
time for another fun fact, I think. A group of dolphins is known as a pod. Babies are called calves, mothers are called cows, and fathers are called bulls. Wasn't that interesting? Okay, so I put a very light coat of blue over the surface of my paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let some of the blue that I put just colour slightly over the dolphin here and there to give the impression that the dolphin is actually in the water. I'm going to use a stronger blue and give a little bit more warmth and a little bit more liveliness into my picture of the dolphin. So from the bottom I'm going to put in this stronger, more vibrant blue. And I've let some of the colours you can see come over the underwater growths like the, the, the greenery and the corals just to give a little bit more in feeling of the main underwater. Now some darker blue, this is known as ultramarine blue and that at the very bottom just to give a little bit more depth and I'm going to keep it quite loose and free just to give the impression of just little bits of movement in the water. I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to start adding a little bit of colour with our underwater greenery. So the reeds, because I've already let the blue come across them, because I wanted to give the impression of the water over the reeds, they have a little bit of blue and when I put the yellow onto that blue, as you can see, it turns them into a lovely light green. So I'm just going to put that through those and if the colour is slightly different here and there, again, it adds the impression of just little bits of light coming through. I do that one there in a light yellow and I think I'll also do the same with this one here. So only these floating ones will make them just quite bright here. Then I'm going to take a bright lime green and I'm going to use that for one of these here. So I'm going to come over this with the lime green. Now I can take my dark green and add in little bits of dark here and there if I want just to give the impression of a little bit of shape and form to those. Now over here I'm going to use a pinky colour. So I'm going to come into this and add in a little bit of pink. And again, because the blue is already on it, it mixes and parts and creates a sort of violet colouring. This one here, I'm going to use a little bit of orange. I'm going to take a little bit of blue and I'm just going to put some blue through the centre of the dolphin because all of this blue water here will reflect onto the surface of the dolphin. So rather than having it too grey, I'm going to use little bits of stronger blues here and there, even where I put my blocks and my blacks earlier, just to give a little bit more playfulness into the colours and also a little bit of softness. And I can put in if I want to be a little bit more adventurous with little bits of green. And I think I'll also add little bits of violet here and there. And here's another fun fact about dolphins. Dolphins breathe through a blowhole in the top of their head. Now to finish off, because the dolphin is near the surface of the water, I want to give the impression that there's sunlight passing through the water and hitting the top of the dolphin. So I'm going to take my rubber and I'm going to let it just rub out some of the blues and just give the impression of sunlight passing through the water using my rubber. So this is not just for rubbing out mistakes, it's also for a part of your technique. So we let the sunlight come down and across the dolphin like that and you get this beautiful feeling of playfulness. The sunlight comes across through the water and that light comes down through the surface of it painted and you get these beautiful colours being drawn down and you get the impression also that the sunlight hits the corals at the bottom here and there so you just add in little bits of and rather take out a colour into those spaces a little bit more and I'm also put a, a little reflection across the back of the dolphin like so so I'm using the rubber to blend out and create a little bit of softness into these spaces and let as I said the, the idea of the sunlight come across like so and we get sunlight coming across the surface of the water in a horizontal fashion so I'll bring it this way as well and now there you have our playful happy dolphin with the sunlight passing to the surface of the water and our bits of colourful coral and floating reeds to create a happy beautiful underwater scene use your imagination to add more colours or even to have your dolphin jumping out of the water Join us in our next video when we will show you how to draw and colour another exciting underwater animal. Until then, have lots of fun and don't forget to share this video to have lots of art adventures with your friends. See you all soon. Bye.